This equation takes the form of Euler's identity. The idea is that E would represent a rate of change as time and space unfolds, with Euler's identity being interwoven into the dynamic fabric of space-time, with the plus one representing one photon equals zero time, t equals zero, the moment of now, within an individual reference frame. Within such a reference frame, the number e represents a constant of continuous change, of either growth or decay. Also, the number e represents the smoothing out of quanta into the ever-changing curvature of space-time. A good way to visualize this is to take the exponential function and change the coordinating system from Cartesian coordination to polar coordination. When we do this, the graph turns into a logarithmic spiral that is self-similar, with all the branches having the same shape and rotational angle. This can be seen if we draw a tangent line of the spiral in red. The radial lines that started from the center point of the spiral are in black. What we find is the angle between any pair of these two lines will be the same, and since it is self-similar, the inner spiral will have the same property. This static diagram of a spiral has similarities with the number E, but we have to change this static diagram into something dynamic that is changing over a period of time to see the true nature of the number E. If we rotate or spin the spiral, we can see the angles remain constant over a period of time. We can imagine the spiral growing or expanding out from the center, representing Euler's constant E. Such a spiral has the potential to expand out forever, just as the number E, as an irrational number, never repeats and continues forever, forming something new. In this theory, the irrational numbers in our mathematics represents the infinite nature of space and time. This is why, when we consider something static, like the fixed ratio of a circle to its diameter, we find that the only possible way of analyzing the facts, so we can determine the fixed value of pi, is to express the relation in the form of an infinite series. Therefore we find pi and the imaginary number i in Euler's identity, representing the dynamic geometry of space-time, that is relative to the constant e, as the future unfolds photon by photon.